You know, I've always believed that our system of free enterprise works best when it rewards hard work. This is America. We don't disparage wealth. We don't begrudge anybody for doing well. We believe in success. But it does offend our values when executives of big financial firms, firms that are struggling, pay themselves huge bonuses even as they continue to rely on taxpayer assistance to stay afloat. Well, we're back, and that was President Obama using this sort of the, a little soft soaping there as he goes after the executive pay uh, packages. Time now for the politics fix. Ron Brownstein is public director of Atlanta Media. I think me and Pat Buchanan is, of course, an MSNBC plug on. Pat, it's interesting when you want to put the knife in, you say it softly. He's very nice. It's almost I do this more out of sadness than joy. I'm taking away half your pay, buddy. But I really feel a little bad about it. I think the it. staff went and said, Mr. President, we really got to hammer these yeah. guys. This is not going down well. So they went But he was so soft. He's so soft. But let me say, this, that this is a problem you get into, Chris. Those guys, that is outrageous. But you get into this problem as soon as you get taxpayers' money into private business, then you got to run it. Frankly, mm. some of these big firms should have been allowed to go under, let them pay the mm. price, and let them deal in the mm. market with their own successes, their own failures, their own mistakes. Well, we, 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 we did try that with Lehman Brothers. How about a rule? How about a rule? It's like so Bill Maher's new rules. How about a new rule? You can't have a lot of money unless you can explain why you have a lot of money. Well, well, you, you know go. what these guys actually do? It, do you know what they do to make zillions of dollars? No, Where, where's and, the brain going? It, it gets it gets more and more esoteric and more and more complex, and the and the, and the social utility of it is really it, unclear at times. You know, it's interesting because the chief financial regulator in Britain, Lord uh, Lord Turner, Adair Turner, gave a speech a couple weeks ago saying, "Look, many of these many of these new products that are being created are more about enriching bankers than than, than creating exactly. any Look, kind right. of, any kind of economic." We got value the Pittsburgh guys. Society. The Pittsburgh brigades have yeah. been out there for years, right oh, yeah. and left. Sure, right and left. They don't like it. Oh, it's outrageous. We got Ed Clank, one of our producers here. Just, she's as tough on the left as you are on the right, right? Yeah. And that what's going on is, I think, if he hadn't done what he did yesterday with, mm -hmm. with this fella doing what he had to do, the, the paymaster, right. if he hadn't cut these guys off at the knees, he would pay the price himself. Well, he'd pay a terrible price. But the real problem is, Chris, look, 40% of all the money being made a few years back was being made in the financial community of paper move, being moved around, yeah. all these hedge funds, all this nonsense. They don't produce real things. Remember Sherman McCoy and what was the bonfire oh, yeah. of the vanities? Mm. He couldn't explain to his kid, what do you do, Daddy? Yeah. Mr. Jones Master builds the roads. Master he the builds universe. roads and actually he's, he's arbitrage yeah. Bonds or something well, you know, like we have we now have this tremendously ambivalent relationship as a society with Wall Street because we're all dependent on the stock market for our because retirement security and our kids in, in a way that was. And by not the way, we all look at it. All, I watch it every night on this show. I watch the market report. And you want to know how it's doing? I want it to go up. Right. Oh. And, and fact, by the way, back when I didn't have any money, I wanted it to go down. And, and, uh, people, <laughs> Screw those guys. People, feel, people, they feel, feel, people feel better. The Dow is at ten thousand. And was it? Are was more it people rooting for the market or rooting against it right now? Well, they're rooting. They're rooting for the market, but that doesn't mean necessarily they're rooting for the market makers. And participants. I mean, you know, the, the, the broader okay, the, well, the broader uh, point of the president here, though. Look, the, on the financing, on the lobbying here against all of the enhanced regulation okay, and re regulatory companies. reorganization, he's trying City to. Citigroup. It's back to business as usual. Citigroup, Bank of America, AIG, General Motors, and Chrysler. I mean, the list is out there, and every one of the top twenty-five guys in each one of these right. firms is going to take about a fifty percent cut, half the money gone. Personally, I just unloaded an awful lot of Citibank. Uh, uh, stock today because I think it's about as high as it's going to go. And quite frankly, they've got a lot of stuff on that books. It's still rotten, Chris. Yeah. And you got this commercial property, which is coming down. But again, they're government-owned banks. They ought not to be paying themselves those salaries. If you work for the king, you know, you take the king's mm. shilling, you sing the king's Okay, student. come next November as we approach the election for Congress and all these 30-some senators are up for election and election, all 435 members of the House and the Senate, of the House, rather, who will be making the largest pitchfork argument, the right or the left? Oh, the right will have the populace with them. I think they'll be very much joined. They'll come because, out against Wall yeah. Street and big money. Oh, because and Obama's in charge of the economy. Yeah, and, and I think the left challengers will as well. But look, the, the Republicans may have some vulnerabilities here as well. Today, the House Financial Services Committee passed the Consumer Protection Agency that Obama wants. Every Republican right, but Obama one voted no. That's every why he every did Republican did. but one voted no. We've just answered the question why he did what he did, because he can't take the heat. He had oh, to go after these guys. You've today. got to, sure. Okay, I mean, okay. That's a 1995 Pre it's issue. called preemption on the right wing. You know, sure. they preempt these things. Forward leaning. <laughs> guys like Frank Gaffney sitting here. They love to go forward. We'll be right back with Ron Brownstein and Pat Buchanan to have some fun with Dick Cheney. He's back like Freddy Krueger. He keeps coming back. You're watching Hardball, only on MSNBC. By the way, Halloween's coming too. We're back with Ron Brownstein and uh, Pat Buchanan. You know, I'm stunned occasionally by shamelessness in this town. 
the vice president left. We well, didn't leave town, did he? He just got left office, and his top aide got in huge trouble, apparently regarding pushing the cause. Uh, keeping secrets uh, and giving false evidence, false testimony. There they are last night, both in tuxedos, black tie, both getting awards from Frank Gaffney, our buddy here. Uh, I mean, they just they just keep giving themselves awards. The American Enterprise Institute, all these front groups. Uh, Pat, they never stop giving themselves awards and giving speeches to each other. I mean, there, look, there, there's Rumsfeld. I mean, they, they, this that's is been, the gang's all here. Chris, that's what journalists do, too. Yeah, right. It's endless awards. Yeah. They're giving well, each know. other journalists to the year now. I mean, poor Scooter wants his law practice back. No. Yeah. He'd well, like to get back. Uh, that's, well, Gaffney, that's Gaffney's folks. That's his crowd. That's what he believes in. That's what Jamie believes in. That has been part of, part of the secret of conservative success. 25 years ago, I said Blumenthal wrote a book, right? The counter-establishment. There is a network, a web of institutions right. that support people when they're out of government, trying kind of uh, help right. get the credentials to move into government. Is, and it, has, it, it is something that the left has tried to emulate okay. in the last decade, especially. You're a first example Republican. It. It's, it is always there. It's a safety net. Out there like he is, right? Getting awards, giving awards, wearing black ties, celebrating his very being—is that good for the Republican Party? I don't know, but I think it's good for Cheney. He clearly has become a very—it's <laughs> a very powerful voice. I mean, yeah. And he's saying what he believes. Right. Secondly, and, and he is jamming Obama, and so are the generals at the Pentagon, and they're going to get those troops. You know, I think. Democrats. You once, think that'll be the bottom line here? I, Obama can't keep it at zero. He's not going to pull no. him out, so he's going to give no. him twenty, thirty, forty thousand. I don't know. He's going to forty. But look, I. I Democrats once thought the Cheney, once thought the Cheney's talking was unambiguously a positive for Democrats and hurt Republicans. But in this environment we're in, where part of the challenge for Democrats is a very mobilized Republican base, Cheney does in fact do that. Even if he does kind of drive away some in the middle. For the White House, it's especially infuriating because they believe the difficulty of the situation in Afghanistan is directly a function of Bush's failures to deal with the problems as it uh -huh. deteriorated, uh, especially in his second term. So to hear Cheney come out now and, and, and kind of fair, blame them, that's a fair criticism of the Republicans, Bush and Cheney, and, and Gibbs made it. I'll say that. But Cheney is elevating himself into a direct battle for the White House, mm -hmm. and that is not a bad thing for Dick Cheney. He's become the foreign policy defense voice of the Republican slash conservative establishment. This who lost Afghanistan? Canard, which Bush began tonight, perhaps here with Frank Gaffney. The trouble with that is it encourages any president, right, left, or center, to keep troops mm -hmm. everywhere. Because mm -hmm. whenever you pull the troops out, you're accused of quote and, losing. You know, and don't send them in. Well, that's, and thank and you, look, well, there, are these, there are these Shakespearean. That's definitional. There are these Shakespearean conversations between Lyndon Johnson and Richard Russell in yeah. 1965 on the tapes, in which Johnson says sure. exactly that: I I can't see going forward. I can't see a victory at the end. But if I if I pull the troops out, I will be no, eviscerated them in. by the right. No, I'm saying. But he, he had said, exactly Nixon, that concern. Nixon, Goldwater, and, and Rockefeller is, will kill me right, if I do if, this. If I've got to put out. him in, Dick. And right. Dick says, this is a god-awful mess, right. Lyndon. Right. And what Lyndon are we says, doing? And Johnson says, you know, and so that, you know, you don't want a president to have to make the decisions okay. on those bases. But there is okay, these pressures are a reality. Pat Buchanan, gentlemen, thank you.